Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for returning. So as you can tell by the title, I will be taking you guys on a shop with me at Dollar Tree. I am going to try to go ahead and pick up 20 items for $20 plus tax. And I'm trying to do it so that all these items can go into your prepping pantry. I know that a lot of people are on a budget. So I just wanna let you guys know that Dollar Tree is an excellent option if you're on a budget. And even if you're not on a budget, they have so many items that um, it can you can just stretch your dollar coming here to Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna hop right into the video. I just wanna start out by saying that I hope you guys can hear me. We have to wear masks in my state, it's mandatory. So they may have a hard time hearing me. All right, so the first item that I'll be grabbing is just antibacterial spray. You have seen it if you watch any of my other videos, just antibacterial, I feel like that's a must have. I'm also just gonna be giving you guys a view of some of the things in my Dollar Tree store. And the shelves look really empty compared to how they usually are. Usually they're pretty full, but not so much today. have lots of cleaning products as you can see then we're moving along to the aisles that have the pickles and the condiments see your ketchup and your mustard and your pickles if you guys like olives make sure to check Dollar Tree That's the little individual packs of the Jif peanut butter. They also have honey. And back here in the back, minced garlic. Okay, that's a good buy for a dollar, guys. yellow split pea. More pintos. Multiple bags of pintos. And here are the lentils right here. 16 ounce bags. So most of these bags are a pound. Also have yellow rice, black beans, and then your red kidney beans. And that's 12 ounces. So a little less than a pound. And then these are a pound. So it looks like most of your bags are a pound. So last time I was here, I was telling you guys about all the pasta that they had. And as you can see, they have different varieties. They do have the Varilla 
um, as well today. The penne, regular spaghetti. So I know a lot of people may think it's the better buy to purchase it from Sam's because you can get multiple boxes for a little cheaper. However, if you're on a budget, you may not be able to, to do that. I mean, if you go in there and to Sam's, I think a box may cost five or six dollars. So if you're not able to do that, you can just come here and pick up boxes, one box at a time. And then you have your meat sauce right here. You've got Prego. So I'm actually gonna pick this up just to try this. Pick up another one. And then you have your Alfredo sauce. So we can use that with the penne that we picked up. And then of course, they don't have the Barilla spaghetti, but they do have the Columbia brand. And they have lasagna as well. And then they have the thin spaghetti. So I'm just gonna pick up one box of this. And I'm gonna go back over to the section so you guys can see a little bit better. They do have Parmesan cheese. And they also have, it looks like whole peeled tomatoes and they have a couple of different um, flavors. So you have the garlic and crushed red peppers and then you have the garlic, olive and basil. And this is the rest of your spaghetti sauces down here, the Hunt's brand that I love. And then moving along to here, you have your coffee creamy if you are a coffee drinker. I don't care for coffee too much. I drink it like once or twice a year. That's about it. Sugar in the roll, I would say that's a good deal. Um, this is normally a few more dollars, so I don't drink it a lot, but I've seen it in the store priced higher than a dollar. And guys, they have cereal here as well. You have your pop tarts brown sugar, cinnamon, your frosted cherry. Keep in mind that these boxes are smaller, smaller than the average boxes. This is a box of the honey bunches of oats. As you can see my hand, it's a tea tiny box. Okay, so guys, if you can see the shelves, they are not full as they normally are. So there's tons of almond vanilla milk. However, the gusto milk that I normally get, it's not really any. They do have 1% and they only have a few boxes and all of these boxes look damaged. They have this one single right here and this is a 1% milk. And then the 2% that I normally get, it's out besides this one bottle. And again, that looks damaged. They have absolutely no whole milk that's the Gossner Food brand. And this, again, is the first time that I've seen that they do not have this milk. They have brownie mix and quick oats. So oats are one of those things that a little goes a long way. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. Not that can, just because it's Janet. I'm gonna check down here. And this one looks okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my cart. They also have syrup, evaporated milk, coconut milk, it looks like a soy based beverage. They have canned fruit. Make sure to check your local stores guys because the prices sometimes in store um, are a little bit better at places such as Walmart. But again, if you know, you're on a budget, I think this works. So I'm also gonna pick up a bottle of syrup because remember pancake mix goes a long ways and my kids love pancake mix I mean they love waffles they love pancakes I don't like either all I like is French toast so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up and then you have your sprays down here you have your canola spray your coconut spray also have your lime juice substitute you can spray that in there it's your buttered spray. It's a small box of the sugar and vegetable oil. You have your cake mix. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up because I told you guys, it's always, well for me personally, I like to have sweets in the house. And just because you're on a budget does not mean you can't have sweet treats for yourself, guys. Keep that in mind. And then I'm gonna pick up this chocolate fudge. I'm gonna put it in here. 
and they have other sweet treats as well guys they have chocolate chip cookies peanut butter cookies sugar cookies they even have liners for your cupcakes or your muffins they have jello down there and they have bacon soda as you can see it's for baking cleaning deodorizing I think it's a good idea. That box is a little damaged, so I'm not gonna grab that one. And guys, I normally grab from the back, but because I'm doing this video, I'm just gonna grab from the front today. That also goes in the cart. Flour. I'm gonna grab a bag of this. Well, I probably should have picked up the first bag. And that's just two pounds. Okay, so here's your protein. Guys, make sure if you do nothing else that you stock up on protein. It's definitely something that will sustain you for a while. They have different kinds. They have sardines, they have potted meat. And this is, that's potted meat, but the Armour brand, bigger can. More sardines. Vienna sausages. So these are the lays of kippered herring then they have smoked oysters and sunflower oil and of course you have your canned chicken bumblebee tuna the Vienna bites original so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a can of these your packs of poodles of noodles I'm sorry guys top Roman Roman we call them oodles and noodles in my house. We grew up saying oodles and noodles, but the official brand is Top Ramen. We have the pink salmon. So I think just because it's a protein and it's fish, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up guys. Okay guys, so I'm back. And at this point I have reached 18 items. So I'm gonna grab two more items. And I feel like for me, it would be important to grab protein. So I think my last two items will be two packs of tuna. Both like tuna, 2.5 ounces. And I think that's all. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out and I'll see you guys in a minute. So at this point, I have reached my $20 spending limit. So I was looking in my cart and realized that I didn't have any water. So I was kind of going over with my daughter what we can put back and we decided to put this back. And it's just because we already have pasta in the cart and we can make the pasta stretch. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back and in its place we're gonna grab a gallon of water. gallon of crystallized water and at this point we have everything we need so we're going to go ahead and check out so i'm home so i'm just going to go over the items that i picked up from dollar tree and i'm just going to show you a couple of meals that i put together with everything that i had remember i only spent 20 dollars plus tax on everything that you see in this video so the first item that i got is the spick and span antibacterial spray cleaner um, you have seen this in multiple hauls, and so I just got this because you will definitely need to keep your area, your countertops and everything cleaned. Moving along to the baking soda. Of course, it has multiple uses. You can use it for baking, cleaning, and deodorizing. So it is a one pound box. This is an oatmeal that you can use, but again, this is another item that has multiple uses. So that is a pound, 16 ounces. So the pancake syrup um, can be used in the quick oats. I know a couple of people that use that in that. And then you also can use it for your pancakes. I got the pancake and waffle mix. So all you have to do is add water to that. And this is a little over a pound. So you get the pancake and waffle mix for over a pound. And then you have the all-purpose flour. That's two pounds. So of course this has multiple uses as well. 
And there you go, you can make blueberry muffins. It's a little recipe on the back. Mashed potatoes, of course, these are the potatoes that I told you guys about. But if you guys make sure to read over the comments because I have a lot of great suggestions down in the comments um, as far as doctoring up the mashed potatoes. I also wanted to make sure that I got protein. So I got two packs of the light tuna. It's 2.5 ounces, the Bumblebee brand. And that's the back of that. Best Buy date looks like it is April of 2023. Okay, so I told you that this, um, you can have, uh, spaghetti goes a long way. So that's a 20 ounce box. And then to go with it, I got two jars of the Prego meat sauce. So, I mean, that's an easy meal right there. And so for both of those, it's $3. The Barilla Penne, I have one box of that and it was a one pound box. And then I decided to pair it with the classic Alfredo Prego sauce so you can have the alfredo with the penne and then if you can pick up some chicken that can make or uh, you can make the chicken penne and pasta but even if you don't have the chicken i mean that's a meal right there just the sauce and the penne itself ramen um this chicken flavor it is a five pack you can see and then i also got the vienna bites armor and this is a 10 ounce jar so it's a, it's a nice size and then the last protein item that i have is the pink salmon it's alaskan wild pink salmon best buy day is december 2022 so i feel like it's super important to make sure you have protein so i have four different protein items just right here between the tuna the salmon and the vienna bites I picked up the box of the traditional yellow cake, Pillsbury, just a regular cake mix. And then I also got the chocolate fudge. They had this and then the vanilla. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the chocolate fudge. Last item that I have is the water, just the Crystal Geyser Natural Springs. That is a gallon of water. So all these items, again, these are just suggestions that you can have, or these are just suggestions if you are on a tight budget, um, just to make sure that you're not completely overwhelmed. I understand that everybody is not able to, especially the way the economy is, to go out and spend a couple of hundred at a time. So this is just something, maybe if you had $20 to set aside each week, you can just get it little by little. And again, I do understand that it's better to buy some of these items at Sam's, um, such as the noodles in bulk. But again, keep in mind that everybody is not able to do that. So this is an alternative to that. So the last thing that I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is the receipt. This is the final receipt. And I was trying to figure out why my total was $20.10 when, when the tax is seven cent on the dollar. And then I figured out that it was the baking soda. So the baking soda is 59 cent. So I don't know if that's just in my area or if it's everywhere, but just keep that in mind um, too when you guys go to Dollar Tree. I just wanna thank you guys again so much for watching. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you leave a comment down below and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys soon.